Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is just going to be a quick one. I felt like there has been a lot of beauty box posts on the blog recently so I, so I thought why not do a beauty box unveiling on video for a change. When I first heard about this box I did originally buy the first one which was back earlier in the year I think around April time so when I heard that the second version of this box was coming out I signed up straight away and was so excited to see what was inside. The box that I'm talking about is the latest in beauty box and it was the collaboration with the British beauty blogger. As I said, this is the second box that they have done as a collaboration together and they literally flew out. Sadly, they aren't available anymore, but I just thought it would be nice to share with you guys what you actually get in these kind of boxes so that you can sign up for next time and you know how good the boxes are. I've briefly looked through some of these products and tried a few of them that I was really, really eager to get my hands on, but I have been really good and kept everything in the box as it literally came. So first of all you get a little book inside and that has loads of special offers on a variety of the brands that are in the box. Not every brand does a special offer but there are quite a few in here that I am very tempted to be taking up myself. First up is a beautifying oil from The Body Shop and it's the pink grapefruit one. This isn't the full size one, I do have a full size one and I have the coconut one. I love these, they're really really good, they soak in really really quickly and they're super moisturising so this one will definitely get used up and it does smell really really yummy too. The next product is from a brand that I've not heard of. I think it's called Meow, or Mio maybe? Fit Skin for Life, and it's a double buff dual action enzyme exfoliator. This is a body scrub, so I must remember not to confuse this for a face scrub. Generally I do quite like scrubs, whether they be for the face or the body. I kind of feel like they really do get in and get rid of any dry skin. So I'm excited to try this one out and see what it's like. One that I was quite keen on trying as well was the Invisi Bobbles. So one of the products that I was quite keen on trying out was the Invisi Bobbles, and in this box you receive three of them. Now these bands are supposed to be hair bands, and you just tie them around. I know they don't look like very much, but you tie them around your hair, and they're supposed to leave it so that there's no bumps or kinks in it, so that if you took this out, you could just flick your hair out, shake it out a bit, and it would be fine to leave out straight. I haven't tried these yet but I am keen to see if they work because I'm forever putting my hair up at work and then sometimes going out in the evening thinking oh, I wish I hadn't put my hair up now I'm going to have kinks in it. So eager to see if these work. Again another one that I was really excited to try. This is the Essie Nail Polish and this is in the shade Toggle to the Top. I think this is one of the new ones from the Christmas range and I'd had my eye on this in Boots for quite a while and I was tempted to buy it but I did receive a sample size version of this in the box. So I'm super keen to try this out. It's a really, really sparkly, dark pink colour and I'm sure it will look lovely for the Christmas period. Couple of hair products next and it is from a hair brand that I do love and it's Kerastase. You may have heard me talking about the hairspray that I received from the My Little Box. Absolutely love that. It's renewed my love for hairspray. So I'm quite looking forward to trying these out and seeing whether they're any good as well. In the last box from the collaboration with Latest in Beauty and British Beauty Blogger, there was a Lola kind of little like face brush. So in this box, there was a Lola lipstick. This is actually a really, really nice colour. It's a really nice pink shade, that's it just there. And although it looks quite dark in the tube, it comes out quite muted and almost a soft pink. That will definitely get used up. It's a beautiful shade and will look lovely on daytime or evening. The next product is Nude Pro Genius Treatment Oil. I have heard lots of good things about this. This oil is for your face. It's supposed to be super moisturising and kind of anti-aging, all of that kind of jazz. So I'm looking forward to giving this a whirl and seeing if it lives up to the other oils that I own. Next up is a product that I wasn't overly excited to try out as I had one before in an old glossy box and it's the Sleek Makeup Pout Polish. I think the reason why I didn't like it the last time was because it was such a bright colour. Whereas this colour does look a little bright, but it comes off more of a glossy tone. So there is a pink tone there. It's, it's, it's this one just here. So there is a pink tone there, but it's nowhere near as bright and in your face as this one. This will come in handy to put in my handbag and popping on my lips as and when I need. Especially as it's so cold here at the moment, my lips are always dry and chapped. The next product, believe it or not, I have never tried anything by this brand and it's Burt's Bees. Never ever tried any of their lip balms or anything. So I'm keen to try this and see what the fuss is about about Burt's Bees. This is their Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. It's very, very lemony. I quite enjoy the scent of lemon. And I've never really used a cuticle cream, so 
be interesting to see what this does and if it works. When I went through to purchase the box and I saw this product in there, I was quite keen because it's a new range and it's the Lash Lights from Ciati. The only problem, however, is that it's green. Who wears green mascara? I know the whole point of the Ciati Lash Lights is that they are random and bright colours. They come in all these shades just here. For myself, I would have preferred to have got it in a blue, the mauvey colour, or even the pink. At least the pink was a little bit exciting but the green is just a little bit weird. I think you are only supposed to apply this to the ends, but it is a rather bright green. That's it, just there. Not sure I'll get much use out of this. I may try it out just the once if I go to a party or something like that and see what it's like, but I doubt I'll get much use out of this. Next up was the Eyelore Intense Brow Color for longer lasting brows, and this is in the shade Mid Brown. Perfect shade for me. I've got it on at the moment. I was so keen to try it that it's currently on my eyebrows now. I love this pencil. I have been eyeing up this range from Isla for a while. I just love the packaging. It almost looks vintage-like. It's not as pointy as it was when I first used it, but you can almost define every single hair with this, and I love how you can create sharp, precise lines, giving you the perfect shape in your brow. Another product that I'm not overly fussed about is lashes, and in most of these boxes, you always end up getting a pair of lashes. Personally, because I wear contact lenses a fair amount of the time, I don't really get on with lashes, I kind of feel like there's something sitting in my face. But these ones that you got in the box were Ardell, which are America's leading lashes, and these are in the natural style. If I ever do get the urge to try them, at least these aren't too garish and they do look like natural lashes. So I may be tempted to try them at some stage, but it's not a product that I generally love. Next up in the box was a Gardener's Hand Healer Cream, and I think it's from Le Couvent du Minime, I think that's it. Obviously it's not aimed solely at gardeners, you can use this regardless of whether you're a gardener. Generally I like getting hand creams in boxes because they're handy to have around just to keep your hands moisturised. Another product that I was keen to try out and actually use this morning even though my box only arrived yesterday was the Bourjois Bronzing Powder and Highlighter. Now this is supposed to smell of chocolate. I don't really think it smells of chocolate, I think it smells more vanilla-y or cocoa-y. But it's still a really good product. So inside you have the bronzer on one side and then the highlighter on the other. Both are really, really lovely. They blend out amazingly and look beautiful on. I love how this gives a really nice sun-kissed glow. This isn't a glaringly obvious highlighter. Some highlighters I find that you can apply them at home and then when you actually get out in the daylight, they look a bit like you have tried to just slap it on and you've not done a very good job of blending it out. But this one blends really nicely and looks really subtle. And really does give you that healthy glow, which is ideal for the winter. As with most of these boxes, always get a perfume sample, and this one was the Agent Provocateur Fatel. I have tested this out, it does smell really nice, so I'm sure it'll get used. Also inside the box was a face cream from Vici, and it's their Achillea Thermal, which is a hydration cream for sensitive skin, which is really ideal for me because I have skin that doesn't really know what it's doing. Sometimes it wants to be a bit dry, sometimes it wants to be greasy, and just generally it wants to break out and cause me grief. I have had lots of people recommend Vici to me, so I am quite excited to try this out and see what all the fuss is about. Last, but by no means least, is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Lip Cream. And this is an SPF of 15 in it. And it may not look like much. In the tube, it looks almost like a beigey lip balm, but it's not, it applies sheer. As soon as I applied this, they felt so much more moisturized, and this lasted for ages. I noticed it even several hours later. I can't recall if it was eight hours or not, but it definitely was long lasting, much longer lasting than any other lip products that I've had. So overall, I think that was a pretty good box and for £21.95 with the postage and packaging included, I think it was a really good value considering that the total of the products came to in the region of £130. I would really recommend subscribing to the Latest in Beauty newsletter. That way you get a heads up of any beauty boxes that are coming out. I know they have just launched their Christmas Cracker box where you get three Christmas crackers with surprise gifts in them. They also have a couple of other limited edition boxes. They also do a collaboration with Glamour once in a while as well and I think they have a box on there available but I will link the website down below in the description box. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a random quick one for you just to show you what I got inside the box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos to make sure that you never miss one in the future. Otherwise I'll see you guys next time. Bye!